What is happening over there? Beasts were meant to be confined within Alchemoth. I don't think that's where those ones came from. What do you mean? The rift made normal monsters transform into fog beasts. Beasts. Me, me, no one to picture that. Must hurry to rescue. Instinct was right, Melia. Yes, although the Rift's influence is spreading far too quickly. Ransom, are you fine? Miss Melia, these arm moves, it was so sudden. You can explain later. Let us do the fighting here. You should seek refuge. Right you are. Thank you for that. Was everyone all right? Yeah. No major injuries to speak of. All thanks to you, of course. Kino accepts a year's supply of sweet wasabi as reward. Real Hereupon never has compensation. Or it say that? Shulk, was it the Rift's expanding influence that's responsible for our Armu's transformation? Looks like it. We saw it happen before, too. Regular monsters turned into fog beasts, just like that. That suggests more fog beasts will appear if the rift continues to spread its vileness. Consider, with the size it was before, the rift's effect was limited to the area within the capital. But now it's getting wider. One moment. In that case, if the rift keeps growing larger... All monsters everywhere could be changed by the fog. We must find a way to fight back. We'll need those research notes for that. Let's head for the lab. Right. Hmm. 
villain! What do you want? You stand in the way of a new age dawning. Sis, I'm scared. It's all right. I'll protect you, and I'll work, I swear. Behold, the widening rift in the sky. It's proof definite the world abhors you. Spare me your ravings. Oh, Lady Melia, the hope of our race. Gelgar, what is this treachery? As you can see, I am sweeping away some pebbles. Their research is blasphemy against the commingled blood. Don't you comprehend the import of what you're interrupting? The very future of our race hinges on their work. You think this is the future? This reactionary struggle to revive what is long buried? The future of the Hyentia is us. We are what the race ought to become. We are the true face of the Hyentia. If not for our ancestors, we would never even have drawn breath. Ancestors? I recognize them not. You, Lady Melia, are our progenitor. You were our beginning, and you will be our future. Senseless drivel. If you would interfere with this research for the sake of spouting your nonsense, you do not deserve my mercy. Melia. Why won't you understand? Why won't you accept that we are the ones destined to lead? You will not so easily refute our history. So be it. I reject you. I will take the mantle and become father of our kin. I will take dominion over all. Summon. And the world is in the power. Ha, 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 ha. Yes, know your place. Well, let's focus our efforts. Go! Your blood got what they deserve! I show you the way! My aim is pure! I am undaunted! No This is Melia! I can't see! Things are going to plan! I... I know I am not wrong. I'm not! I will spare you. Just be gone from my sight. No! The lab! Melia! Miss Melia! No! Idiots! <laughs> the crown is mine now. Talon! Fix this hand! Better safe than sorry. The pure blood meets its end today. Are you okay, Dylan? Telethia here. Damn. She's okay. She's all right. I'm sorry. I couldn't save. <gasps> the future. Flames. 
So we carried you here. The lab. <gasps> I'm sorry, Teelan. I failed you. Miss Malia. You damn fool! What possessed you to do that? What happened to safeguarding the future of the Hyentia? And bringing our brethren back home were those just words to you? You should think long and hard about what the death of a leader would mean for us! Come on, big sis. That's enough! Don't defend her. This idiot child... I had to. What? To protect it at all cost. The research. How can you be so fixated on that? Our salvation lies therein. I believe it now. Melia! And yet... Ultimately, it was for naught. I caused trouble for everyone. And I couldn't even save the documents. Poor Miss Melly. That's not true. If you and your friends hadn't come when you did, there might not have been anything left of the research to continue with. And also... Here! What's this? It's the book you carried out of the fire. Ring any bells? <gasps> this tome? We found it in the tomb? Yeah. The book that started my research. If we have this, me and Tyrea can carry on with our work. Sis, are you with me? Uh, yeah, right. We can study the problem until we make some headway. Miss Melia, thank you. Likewise. Teelan. Tyrea. You've only just woken up. Come on, we'll let you rest. Yes. Thank you. What that for? You know, you use trickle snooze for sea sweet dreams. <laughs> that seem extremely excessive. <laughs> This might just be what we need to defeat the Fog King. Yeah. Feeling better? Yes. Much better now. What a relief! Miss Melly, good as new. Kino save day again. Less braggy, please. Friends, I'm sorry I worried you. And I abused your hospitality. Please forgive me. No. You saved this place and we owe you. Big time. This was the least I could do. I will not stop now. I swear to do what I can for the good of Grandel. I appreciate it. Just... don't go running yourself ragged for us. I promise. We seem to be missing Tyrea. Oh, if you're looking for her, she figured the fog beasts might strike again, so she went out on patrol. The likes of us aren't exactly trained for battle, so really, any help is welcome. You're right. I feel sorry for any beasts that wander into Tyrea's path. <laughs> By the way, did I hear you mention something about defeating the Fog King? All thanks to our friend's research. Is that so? Quite. A sterling achievement, Teelan. Just an accident. Still, even so, your devotion to your mother may well have saved our future. <laughs> All right. What do we have to do? How do we defeat the Fog King? We found ether attacks effective against fog beasts, but not against the Fog King. That's because the ether's concentration was too low. Concentration? Concentration? Pipe down when adults talking, dum dum. But Kino's so bored. The whole thing got me wondering. Why did fog beasts appear when the rift got wider? I think the intensity of the rift's rays exceeded the density of the Telethia's ether field. Um, none of that makes any sense to me. How is the density connected to the Fog King? If we could put up an ether field denser than the Telethia's, the Fog King will become vulnerable. 
how does one put up an ether field? Secondly, where does one obtain such highly concentrated ether? For the field, I think this guy will do the job with a little tinkering. In that case, it's just a matter of gathering up enough high purity ether crystals, except. Except what? Those kinds of ether crystals are extremely rare. I'm not sure where I'd even start looking. There might be none at all around here. Oh, cheer up, all of you. It is not a foregone conclusion. And in any scenario, if we cannot defeat the Fog King without them, we will have to keep looking until we find them. Hmm, true enough. Good. Then let us start by asking around. Why, Mr. Shelp, stop so sudden? I was just thinking about the cave near Colony 9. Do you know it, Nene? It's called Tefra Cave. Nene, no place. Nene tag along once with group of Hum Hum. Went to fetch ether cylinders. I've done that too sometimes. Went with Ryan a couple of times. Mama, hooray for twinsies. Nene went there during rebuilding effort. So you did your part to help Nene. Thanks for that. It not thing that needs thanks per se. Just doing civic duty. Must stay friends and work together. With all peoples that live in world. <laughs> That's right. But folk here have a lot of angry kerskuffles. Fight between neighbors bad. Should watch Nene and Kino. Learn to everyone play nice. Well... I wouldn't say the people here are enemies, exactly. They just... don't know how to work out their feelings. That just... fancy way of saying fighting? It's not exactly like fighting. Both sides do understand each other, but their paths took them in different directions. What Mr. Shock mean? If the two sides had simply hated each other, they wouldn't just leave. They'd try to drive the other side out by force. But that's not what they did. They still have common ground to stand on. And Melly is here now. They just need some time to mull things over. Mr. Shulk is very kind person. Very different from Mama Pon. When Nene and Kino get into bad fight, Mama Pon spank first, then ask questions. Nene and Kino always in tears, but always say sorries and make up with hug hug. End of end, friendship become much stronger. Being friends mean a whole lot more fun, and more fun is more good. Also, everyone in Colony 9 was friends from start of start. Well, that's because everyone there was working to help rebuild. We all share the same dream. But dreams of people here all really all that different from each other. For now, I guess. But Melly is doing the best she can, and we need to as well. Nene, understand. Nene will wait until Miss Melly and make dreams of everyone mush together as one. But if dream of Miss Melly not go through to everyone, in that case, Nene will... Nene will... Nene will give vicious spankings, and no one's spared, even not Mr. Shulk. What? Me as well? <laughs> Just promise to be gentle. It's a fateful thing. That you and I should see each other again, here, like this. Tyrea, what brought you to the Bionis shoulder? A good question. Honestly, I had no motive. I wandered without aim, the Bionis no more. Before long, I found myself here. That's all. So it is but a work of chance. Is that right? Exactly. Though I certainly didn't expect that chance would bring me back to Alchemoth. The rest is just as I told you. I helped Elam with his research and surveilled the city, waiting for the right opportunity. So then, you're saying you remained here, 
in order to win back the capital, yes? If I'm honest, I have to admit, I did consider it. At least until the Fog King appeared. And then? The people who still live here, when I showed up, I was a dead woman walking. But they took me in without question. People like that, falling victim to that accursed monster. It doesn't bear thinking about. That's why. You feel yourself indebted to them, right? Tyrea, you've changed. Have I? Have I really? Tyrea, if it's all right with you, why not come with us? Melia. We can't pretend the past didn't happen. I know that. But still, can't we at least band together? I... can't. Is... that so? <laughs> Forgive me, Tyrea. It was thoughtless not to consider your feelings. You must see me as your mother's killer. You misapprehend. That's not at issue here. I just don't... understand. What do you mean? What don't you understand? I simply... Since the day you may have drew her final breath, I've lost sight of the path I should walk. It's still the same now. What can I focus on? Where should I go? What will bring meaning to my existence? Even my staying here, when it comes down to it, I'm just resigning myself to the winds of chance. Tyrea, that's wrong. Melia, you continue to misjudge me. I have not changed. I've never known anything, not even my own desires. I can tell you feel lost, Tyrea. I've never had anything remotely resembling your brilliance. Everyone, and I mean everyone, feels doubt. We lost sight of the right path in the Great War. We all did, not just you. I did as well. Nay, I still do now. If I said all my doubts were behind me, it would be a heinous lie. <laughs> when your heart is lost at sea and drifting, it takes time to find answers within. And when you've lost someone important to you, it takes more time still. Hear me. You are strong enough. In time, you will find your answers. My skills were once widely recognized. Though I may have used them to try and end your life. Is that still something you wish to do? If that were the case, you would have gone sailing over the edge of the Bionis shoulder a long time ago. <laughs> I believe so too. When in reality, I'm standing here talking with you. So then, I think that leaves us some room for friendship. Doesn't it? <laughs> you speak just like those Homs you travelled with. I take that as a compliment, actually. But it's as you say. It's yet another thing I've learned from them. Why are you so damn persistent? Is that your crown princess duty? Or do you simply pity the weakling I've become? Enough. I'll hear no more of this self-loathing. <sighs> My heart tells me it's the right thing to do. That is all. That is my reason, and the only answer you'll get. Melia. What's more, Tyrea? You're all the family I have left. <sighs> Listen. Once we have dealt with the matter at hand, would you please give me your answer again? And what if I cannot give you the answer that you're looking for? I will respect whatever conclusion you arrive at, so long as it's one you can live with.
Don't get your hopes up. Fine. That will suffice for now. I'll be waiting, Tyrea. Should I really go along with Melia? Am I worthy? After all the years spent in shadows, all the blood. Yemea, mother, please give me a sign. So now what we need to do is modify the weapon to incorporate the crystals. Mm. Gradsum, sir! Fog beasts have broken through the gates! They're through! If only they'd waited a few hours. Shulk, defending Grandel is our priority. Follow me. Right. We shall deal with the intruders. You get the villagers to safety. Okay. Teelan, you stay put. Gotcha! Rabble won't stand a chance, not against the big one. We'll keep the small fry off your back. All right. You go no further. Yeah. Flint life is no use. Kino make you full of holes. And Nene teach you better manners. We beat them this time, but the numbers are against us. I hate to say it, but if you'd already left when the attack happened, we'd be smoke. Fog King must go! Down with Fog King! Situation is tough. I agree. Melia? I'll do it. I will bring the companions back to lend you aid. They won't agree. You know they despise us. They must see the danger. They will understand what needs to be done. Yea. As soldiers of the High End here, they know it's their solemn duty. Hmm. <laughs> I swear it. I will bring them back with me. Please. Trust me, Ratsum. I'll be right here. Trusting and waiting. Tyrea. Yeah, yeah. Hurry up and go. But I haven't even... Defend this place until I return. Those are your orders, right? Though we're short-handed as it is. Will you be okay? Just go, before I change my mind. Thank you. We'll be quick. Movement! Multiple biggins confirmed! Impossible! More already! If the rift grows any wider than it is now, Grandel is lost. We must hurry. Come, follow me! You head straight for the cape. What are you saying? This will take all of us. I know exactly what my orders are here. I hope I don't have to remind you what yours are. But that's... You said it yourself. 
If the rift grows any wider, there's no way we'll be able to hold this place alone anyway. This is our last chance to enlist the Companion's aid. Tyrea! Radzam is trusting you with this. Now you put your trust in me. <sighs> Come on, we make for the Companion's cape. all of them. We're in the clear. Breathe deep, men, and prepare for the next wave. Let's go through this again. Hi, Entia, deploy your shields. Stop the advance on the gates. Anyone with a rifle, clean out small targets in range. Remember, all we're here to do is buy time. Eliminating all threats is not our mission. Make no mistake. Mom! Huh. Fog be sighted! To arms! They're all just... gone. What? But how? How are you? All well? Y yeah What the hell are you? Never you mind that. We've come to make a request. Time is of the essence. Go on. Would you return to Grandel? If you're asking like that, I assume you know why we left. Indeed. Then you must know. Why that's not an option. What if I said, Grandel is besieged by fog beasts? Are you serious? I'm far too busy to come here just to lie. And the villagers? Are they safe? Yes. For the time being. But not for much longer. You don't seem all that surprised, Maxis. No. I didn't know. Just connecting the dots. If we were hit, then... Well, I trust I needn't spell it out for you. A veteran of the Guard. You need not. But it's not as simple as you make it out. I never said anything about simple. But you did ask. You forget yourself, Maxis. Do I now? What matters here is that the lives you have been guarding are once again in danger as we speak. Yes, but... You're free to have your reasons, but you need to find a way to accept reality and move forward in your life. Hmm. Maxis, we are the lucky ones. What do you mean? We can go home. That's nonsense. The Fog King has Alchemoth. Yes, but our home is right there. 
even if we cannot live in it now. But what of the other refugees? To them, home is gone. Even if they could leave, they have no certainty home still exists. But we... We left them for dead. How could we possibly... It is never too late to make amends. As long as you live. After all, despite your quarrels, you are neighbors, family. Those bonds can withstand more than you think. Maxis, realize what you have. Do it before it's too late, or you'll regret it. <laughs> Maxis, I'm going with these people. I can't turn my back on them. Maxis? <sighs> you're damn good. All right, honey. So you're with us? Truly? Yes, but it wasn't your fancy words that swayed me. My family needs me. Fine. As you wish. But my pain in Bom Bom. Real feather brain. <sighs> Useless little spoiled princess brat! No sign of Miss Melia yet? Not so far! Damn! Bunch of new hostiles closing in! I guess the lot from the Cape really left us for dead. Miss Pereira, it's all over. Please, pull back! Not just yet! Stand firm! Believe in our brethren! Believe! In your new leader! But man! When you see me fall, abandon this place and withdraw into Grand Dell. Victoria! He kept us waiting. You big jerk! Lady Melia! She's back! And it looks like she brought the companions with her! Let's clear a path! Maxis, thank you. Ha! Huh. It's me who should be thanking you, Ransom. If you hadn't spoken out when you did, we couldn't be having this conversation. What are you talking about? If it weren't for your help, we'd all have kicked it ages ago. Is Melly looking for Tyrea? She go back after healing. Cannot put up with this sentimental manure. Was exact words. <laughs> Sounds just like her. To a T. Lady Melia, I'm glad we trusted you. We owe you a debt for our lives. No, you have only each other to thank.
Huh? Wait up, huh? Melia? Did he say Melia? Indeed. Surely not. You can't be the Melia Antiqua. Antiqua? Uh, yes. I do get called that sometimes. I... that... no. What? That means... your... your highness is the Crown Princess Melia. Do you need a minute, Maxis? Impudence! This girl is the true-born child of our late Emperor Saurian, the Imperial successor, Crown Princess Melia Antiqua. Is he telling the truth? It was not my intent to deceive. I thought if I announced myself, it could bring hope. But it could also bring despair. What our people need now is hope only. Hence the discretion. I'd appreciate if you treated me normally. Right. That is enough of that. Much work remains, after all. You mean slaying the Fog King? Lady Melia, we companions will form your honor guard. You won't. You companions will join Tyrea and guard Grandel from Fogbeast Incursion. But that's... Listen to me, Maxis. You feel you want to dispel the regrets of your brethren by your own hands. I understand well. But, for the sake of those fallen, you must protect the living. Don't you think that's the best way to use your talents right now? <sighs> the companion's strength, Grandel's knowledge, Tyrea's will. Without any one of those, the town would be lost. It's the only way. I understand. We accept. Trust us with the ramparts. Thank you. Truly. Lady Melia, take care. Absolutely. Maxis and his companions. They're counting on us, too. Yes. Let us perform the enhancements at Radsom's. May we, Radsom? Ah, oh, only too gladly, Miss Melia. It's ready. Ha! Huh? What? We've not changed much. Still same. Quite. Well, it was more of a tweak. I don't mind. If it lets us take down the Fog King. Hmm. Theoretically. Finally come time for denouement. Days of Fog King numbered! Tyrea, do you perchance remember the day that we two first met? I was wondering what you'd come out with. You finally decided to settle some past grudges, have you? Not at all. I just found it quite moving. Though we crossed blades, contended for our very lives, here we are standing shoulder to shoulder, gazing out at our shared ancestral home. <laughs> Quite. Getting over all that was... a minor miracle. If someone told me a year ago that we'd be doing this, I'd have carved out their spleen for suggesting it. <laughs> Tyrea, about what I said to you before... Yes? Are your doubts... allayed? Perhaps. Not all of them. However, my answer to the question you posed is more or less ready. Tell me then. Melia, you are the last high entier of Imperial blood. Well, yes, that is true. Although, are you not also... Quiet. You must continue the line. You and none other. You are the light, Melia. You must lead us. Gather our people under your banner. I don't think I ought to be there for that. 
Why, Tyrea? What leads you to say such a thing? The fact is, I was an Inquisitor of the Bionite Order, my very existence prescribed by law. You know what role the Order played in the Imperial family's history. I hardly need to remind you. Tyrea. Understand. I regret none of the deeds I did for you, Maya. But even so, all that I have done in that life lingers on inside me, a burden I can't escape. All I do is cast a deep shadow on your radiance. As the Imperial Line rises to greet a new age, I will contribute nothing. I'd be a hindrance. How can you hate your own self that much? <laughs> if that is the answer you wish to give me, then it would be wrong for me to speak out against it. But I will say this, Tyrea. Imperial blood yet runs in your veins too, as does the mixed blood of Ahoms. We are no different. How could we be? At this point, it doesn't mean a damn thing. You're wrong. Stop talking. I told you not to get your hopes up. Can it really be your intention to keep blaming yourself? Why? Why won't you turn your eyes to the future? Is this what your mother would have wanted? How dare you? You didn't know, you Yumea. You didn't know my mother. <sighs> Meme! Two of you, stop flap traps! Nene, nay. what are you doing here? That question very irregardable. Nene simply observes sneaky light from hiding. Miss Tyrea, Miss Melia, sister bomb fight is counterproductive. What? It's better to hug and make up blinkety snap. If not, Mama Pon, roll up sleeves, then everyone's sorry. Quit, quit this clowning. We are not. Incidentally, Nene is older sister Pon, so even in fight with Kino, always make up swifty quick. But, but it's not because Mama Pon's scared into submission, okay? Actually, it's what Nene like to call mature attitude. Ugh, just thinking about make old Scars and Nene itchy, itchy. But, but anyway, bottom line is fighting is bad. So, now is when please to hug and make up. Go on, say sorry, Sister Pon. What is this thing going on about? Mother, huh? If your mother... If Yumea were here now, looking at us like this, I wonder what she would say. Hey, don't tell me you're taking it seriously. It's spouting nonsense. Not it! Nene's not saying Nene's Nene! What point is there in talking about it now? There's no way for us to know. She's dead and gone. My apologies, Tyrea. I know you put great faith in her. So I just thought... But it's as you say. I'll admit, I never understood your mother's mind. Even at the very end. <laughs> Yemea's devotion to the Bionite Order was how she honored the Imperial Line. And also how she channeled her woe over our ultimate fate. Her spirit contained no falsehood. I see. Due to the loftiness of her faith, Yumea could be very severe towards both me and herself. I'm sure if she could see me now, <sighs> attending at Yumea's side, Serving her unto exhaustion was my whole life. Yemea's desires were mine as well. What's more, the blood that flows in me is in essence. Tyrea? Yemea's blood and her will, are they really doomed to just cease to be? Would Yemea really, would Mother simply allow this? Hey, 
Whatever has got into you? Melia, if Eumea were here, if she saw me, saw us too, here's how she'd rebuke us. If you wish a future for the High Entia, you must do whatever is in your power. Huh? Changing one's way of life means negating your past self. I tried to change myself. And the path I walked until then, I disavowed. The precious path I had walked as Eumaea's loyal retainer. Let me be me then, the Empress's, your shadow. And I'll do what's in my power. So then, you will not change your ways, but still walk alongside me. Is that correct? Eumaea, mother kept me by her side for that purpose. She already showed me the road that I should take. I think I'd like to repay her by putting her will into action. For her, and for the future of the High Entia. I see. So that's the answer you have chosen. I'm glad that is your decision, Tyrea. Hmm. You may be a fitting vessel to inherit the throne, but as a politician, you'll be much too soft for your own good. If you got blinded by pretty ideals and came to ruin, I could never face my mother. No, I'd never be so... Let's face it. You'll need someone to rein you in when you get too blinkered. Frankly, I find the suggestion somewhat offensive. All right. But in that case, I must make a pronouncement too. I, Melia Antiqua, Empress of the High Entia, by my name do solemnly decree. Be thou guardian, for our subjects and the race entire, act the mistress of unseen shadows, and pledge thy very life to this throne. Swear your might to my bidding, Tyrea. I accept. I will honor this commission, Your Majesty. <laughs> Miss Tyrea, Nene very proud. Managed to apologize very beautiful. Major sister bomb vibes. Who, who are you calling sisters? And I'll have you know I've nothing to apologize for. Me? But Miss Tyrea, just a proper big bow to Miss Melia. No? You little. Are you actively trying to insult me? Me, me? But Bao had plenty sorry feel. He just like when Dad upon make apologizes to Mom upon. Whatever. I'm too old for this. The future is within our grasp, sister mine. Well, it is time. Please come back safe. But a rare feast won't well, wait. Tilan, not to cause mischief in meantime, okay? So, you did it. Thanks to you and to Tilan. Strength and honor, friend. We will do our best. The Fog King is in the villa. You saw it? Yeah. But how will we get in there? I tried to enter several times, but the transporter refused to work. That's because it was set so that only I could activate it. Why? The villa was where I rescued Teelan from the Fog King's clutches before you came. I wanted to seal it off and trap the monster inside. Except... The transporters, they don't mean a damn thing to it. Still, it seemed better than nothing, so I put it on lockdown. Is that...? I used this for authentication. Take it. I have no need of it anymore. I see. We'll keep guard here, don't worry. Good. I shall count on it.
Our race's future is in your hands. Got it? All right. I won't let you down. Well, let's go. Hmm. Nene got friends and friends of friends. That line of hero Ponkino! You brave few who venture forth, we salute you! Not long now, father, brother, with these two hands of mine, I will reclaim Alchemoth. Hey, Melia, are you nervous? Do not worry, Shulk. I'm just a little heightened. Trembling with excitement, as Dunban might say. <laughs> That's good to hear. I suppose it's no great wonder, though. How about yourself? You've been given a big role to play. Hmm. <laughs> Taking it in your stride as usual. Well, I've been remembering our time on the Bionis shoulder. It hasn't been easy. But we found the refugees here. Got to know Teelan and so on. I'm glad we came. I see. If we can retake the capital, and then get ourselves back to Colony 9. That'll be us sorted. Sorted? Huh? That's right. We're just about there now. We've got this, you know. Hmm. I'm sure. What's wrong? Say, Shulk. Tell me, what are your thoughts on the Rift? Hmm? Right. Um... Considering everything we've seen so far, we don't really know all that much about it. I've never seen anything like it. The Fog King, I mean. It's alien to the Bionis and Maconis. Indeed. The Rift is a complete and utter enigma to us. All we know for certain is that its existence poses danger. A wholly new threat for a wholly new world. Sounds ominous. Are my fears unfounded? To be fair, there's a lot about this world that's different. Frankly, it's anyone's guess right now. Hmm. Does it bother you? The rift, I mean. I have an ill premonition. Oh? Disaster. Complete ruin. Inescapably looming over our future. I know not why, but... That is the vague dread that I feel when I consider the rift. Hey now. I'm sorry. I know we have a big task ahead. I'll try to keep my chin up. It's okay. Your misgivings may just be a weird hunch. Or for all we know, they might come true tomorrow. But there's plenty more we don't know. The future. No one knows it for certain. Mm. Still, that doesn't mean we're entirely helpless. Our actions, they're what shapes the future. We've proven that countless times already. So I think we'll get through this. If we stand together, no power in the world can stand against us. Shulk. <sighs> I swear, you never change. Oh, uh, sorry. I guess I might have gone a bit overboard. No. I don't think that's possible. I think your words have hit the mark exactly. The future is ours. And it is decided here. All we can do is give our all to build a better one. Indeed. 
whatever awaits ahead. I seem to be in your debt again. You keep doing this, always helping me when I'm down. <laughs> I didn't really do anything, though. I'm just happy I could lift you up. My thanks. All right, then. We have crucial work to do. Defeat the Fog King and restore Alchemoth, right? <laughs> exactly right. Shall we? Kingle Fog, right here! Fog King looking awfully foggy today. I would guess it correlates with the widening of the rift. It changes nothing. The time is now. Lend me your strength. The future belongs to us. King of Folk will no name of Hero Bob Hero. Monster in for proper bashing. What's wrong? The sky. The rift is expanding. Mama, something not right. Foggy floppies are coming together. Not take no for answer! What is the meaning of this? It must be drawing its strength from the rift. And now it's even bigger. Ah! In other words, if we could close the rift, we might have a chance. It's possible. But first, Let's do all that we can here. You're right. This is all over Kino's head. What does Hero Burn fight against impossible odds is natural like breathing. Fine then. Time to dish out extra medicine serving a fishy fancy with cherry on top.
Whatever reason, those explosions seem to be distorting and destabilizing the rift. Incredible. They saved us. Fine. Time to finish this. Please, buy me some time. Hmm. Grant me your strength, friends.
there waiting for you, Melia. Does this world need a coronation? I just don't see the point. Don't say that. It is the will of the people. It will mark the birth of a new era. You'd also have been a fine choice. Yes, well. I'm occupied with my research, as you know, Empress Melia. Don't mock me. Here we go. Yes.